I'm Director of Culinary Innovation, Chef Greg Muller. I'm a World Chef Certified Master Chef with over 18 years experience. If you name it, I can cook it. So let's get cooking. Hey there, Rec Tech family. Chef Greg here with you. We have a great holiday fall recipe for you. We're going to be doing some delicious, uh, savory stuffed Cornish game hens. We've got six Cornish game hens here. They're about a pound and a half. We'll be cooking these on the stampede today at 325 degrees. But first, we're going to stuff them with a delicious cornbread uh, filling. So to start it off, we're going to do some mushrooms, some celery, onions, and some Granny Smith apple. We'll saute that down in a cast iron pan with some olive oil. And then we'll hit it with some fresh herbs, and we'll go ahead and get these, uh, these Cornish game hens stuffed. So to finish up this stuffing couldn't be any easier, we'll take our onion, apple, celery, and mushroom mixture, about a tablespoon of chopped garlic, six tablespoons of melted butter. We'll hit it with some fresh herbs. We've got some beautiful fresh rosemary, some sage, and fresh thyme. Give that a little stir. That butter will start to soften those crumbs. We'll add a teaspoon of Colden's Freaking Greek. And then chicken stock here, I've got about a, I've got two cups of stock. And then it really depends on how dry your crumbs are. But we'll probably only add a, between about a cup to a cup and a half in our crumb. So add about a half, mix it up and give a chance for those breadcrumbs and the to absorb all that chicken stock. So the texture looks perfect. We added about a cup and a half of that chicken stock and it's nice and soft but not too wet. All right, so to stuff our birds, it couldn't be easier. The cavity of the Cornish hen is pretty good size. So we can probably fit about a half a cup to two thirds of, of a cup of the uh, stuffing. And there's no easy way to do this. So you kind of just gotta shove it in there. So to tie it up, what I like to do is go ahead and cross the legs, and that way I've got a nice firm seal on where that stuffing is. Grab some twine, you just wrap it around the leg, wrap it around the other leg, and when you pull tight, they'll go ahead and cross, and then you just do a square knot over the top. Trim that excess twine. And what we can do is we'll take our wing tips and we'll just fold them under the breast and that'll give a good, uh, good structure to that bird so they don't tip over. So don't worry if you have any leftover stuffing, you can go ahead and put this in a metal baking dish or even a mini muffin tins and bake it off right alongside. And again, we did six Cornish hens and there's not too much stuffing left. So if we did eight, this recipe would probably work, work perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and season the outside of these Cornish hens with some olive oil. And we're going to use the Colden's Freaking Greek again. And make sure when you pick your birds up, go ahead and get the sides, the back. You want seasoning to be all over. Now they're all seasoned up, we'll see you at the Rec Tech.
All right, you can see these Cornish hens look and smell amazing. To recap, we cooked these at 375 degrees for about 65 minutes for the internal of 165 degrees. We paired that up with a simple Greek salad. It's gonna be delicious. I can't wait to eat.